hi. So remember how I said I'd do a new video shortly, like months ago? Sorry about that. Just here to say, if you are here, I am super proud of you because it means you're prioritizing yourself. And um, as much as I'm sorry I haven't been here, it has been because I've been prioritizing myself. Yay, someone learn a thing. <laughs> it's been awesome, honestly. A year ago, I stepped away from this online world that was getting quite um, gross, to be honest. It was leaving a horrible taste in my mouth and I was seeing that it was really not safe to share my family online anymore and I decided to look at myself and look at what I could do to better things and to better my whole family situation by focusing on myself which is something I've always been terrible at and um, quite a martyr really I always was like saying oh there's no time for me and I had to learn how to make time for me. I had to learn how to tell the people around me that um, to support me you're going to need to make time so that you can do what I do so that I can take time for me. And after nine years off of roller derby I returned. Before I stopped derby it was the number one sort of hobby I guess in my life the number one passion other than my family and you know all the people I love um, so it was my thing I started roller derby in 2007 when it first came back to Australia in its resurgence after the 70s and 80s where it was last last at a high and we created one of the first um, roller derby leagues in Australia which has since broken off into multiple other leagues and it was a huge thing. It was very different back then to how it is back now though. And in that time that I was gone, while I was busy caring for my little, little one who was born with some extra special requirements in life, <laughs> I really, really was out of the loop on how much it's changed. And it is currently changing again because the awesome, awesome people that got it into the, got, got skateboarding into the Olympics, there's talk of that happening with roller derby eventually. So um, there's a move to make it a bit more spectator friendly because if I have to be honest with you, it's a bit shit to watch these days. Um, it never used to be like when I first started and through those early years, it was really fun. But all these rules came in, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. It got too complicated and too tricky for a lot of people to follow. Um, so I'm back and I'm having a blast but it has not been easy so I'm here to tell you that it is one of the best things I've done for my health and I didn't think I would ever be able to strap skates on again and these things have saved my life honestly and I started slow 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 so slow um, and I was so uh, like wobble legs I couldn't do anything I was gutted because the last thing I remembered of what I could do on skates I've always been a wobbly person on skates so to speak and I now know that that's because I do have a connective tissue disorder but um I was gutted when I first put these back on because I was like I'm crap this isn't worth it it's not gonna work but I pushed through and it's been the best decision I have made so I decided after reflecting that I'm going to focus on making um, content about skating and you know I, I might go a bit into my health and how skating goes because I will say when you've got joints that don't behave um, I I cannot believe what sometimes my body's doing I definitely am one of the worst skaters visually to watch because I look like I'm constantly breaking things. I will show you an example if I can find one, but I mean, there's usually a lot of photographic evidence of um, positions that are not okay. Um, but I noticed because everything kind of pops back in after it pops even you know a little out and it's not always fully out like when people it sounds so dramatic I popped a joint and it, it's not always like oh my god it's fully dislocated that does happen but you just get like a pop and you're like that's not sitting where it's supposed to um my body is not doing the things that it was supposed to do it has been hugely successful for me to keep working on this because I am now having the most stability I've had in years 
Um, a year ago, I needed a walking stick to be able to leave the house and now I am for the most part stable enough on my feet most days. I do still fall occasionally just on my own feet. I actually think I'm slightly better on wheels than I am on my feet for reasons I have no idea. Um, <sighs> so that's a big launch into a, a totally fresh subject for you guys. Oh, you know what? I took a bad situation where I felt really horrible about, um, you know, I, I, I started this YouTube channel always with really good intent, but I just realized, wow, I've made a decision here that puts my family, you know, on the internet and that is really not okay. So I, I decided to do the best thing I could to fix it. And I am so, so glad of where this has led me and uh, the things I've learned over the last year. And I'm so proud of other people that I'm seeing that are doing the same, that, uh, you know, not focusing on their struggles as much and just focusing on what they can do to make their life a little bit better. You always know the difference between something that feels a little bit better and something that feels a little bit worse and always focusing on challenging yourself and pushing yourself into a better future has become the goal, the name of the game and um, refining myself really um, is rubbing off on my family as well. Like watching my children look at me and see me so happy and see me struggling to do something but not giving up. And it's just the best I've felt around the whole scope of this situation is the best I've felt in years. I definitely still have my health struggles and I, you know, will probably go on to talk about how I get around them with skating, but I decided it'd be really cool to do some um, like beginner skate type tutorial videos on here. Um, I think that for anybody that can stand on their feet, standing on roller skates, as long as your doctor says you can, is a really great thing to do. There's a lot you can do on roller skates without even rolling that is really good for your health and your balance and your core strength. Um, but always get a medical professional's advice. Do not just listen to me and go out and buy roller skates and put them on and break your neck and then blame me. <laughs> Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. It's so good to not, um, have to hide any of my personality anymore for any reason. I used to really have to put a dampener on it just for the general public and I don't do that anymore and it's so great. It is so great. I, I always, um, tell my kids to not, not to be them, but to be them themselves loudly. So I think there's a big difference between just being yourself and being yourself in a really loud fashion, in a really out there fashion, really projecting yourself and um, just not being sorry for who you are, unapologetically uh, really embracing yourself because you know, the people that are the saddest are always the people that are trying to hide their weird. And I think if you really embrace your weird, you will always feel, you will always feel true. Um, and I think on that note, I might leave you with a little clip just from um, the last game that we just had. We, uh, um, I mean, I'm in Brisbane, Australia. We tra traveled to Adelaide, Australia for a long weekend of roller derby called the Great Southern Slam. And it was the best time I've had in so long and I just could 100% let my hair down and be relaxed and I will share a clip of me having a blast around all of my favorite people in the world for you to enjoy and I will catch you in the next one I mean it this time I'll be back now we're having a bit of a boogie in the middle there oh hey now Lala Bex definitely has moves Big shout out to everyone uh, on the northern suburbs of Brisbane, the northern region, if you will. And a big once hello, once again, a, a big hello to everyone in this country's capital. I hope you're enjoying everything we're displaying live at the Great Southern Slam. Mm-mm. 
Sometimes that's what that's all you need, a bit of a dance break. Just release some of that energy. Refs are always so serious. I know, right? Everyone on the sidelines getting their jam on. 